Ya YouTubers, Tasman here bringing you another episode of Foundry VTT from the ground up. And in our last episode, we kind of went over a couple more mods uh, or add-ons. No, they call them modules in this. Well, add-on modules. So kind of both. Um, and uh, some of the previous episodes, I, I have to say I'm, I'm kind of unhappy with quite a bit of some of the uh, quite a bit of the content that I've released r lately and part of that is because I do have this even though I've never really stated it I do have this release schedule and it kind of makes me feel like oh I have to get a foundry virtual tabletop and so I'll I'll have something kind of researched out and I'll admit right up front that it's not fully researched out I haven't learned all the ins and outs however also with this stuff especially with the add-ons it's really hard to get anything that might be fully researched because there's just not the documentation on it so like i said before it is a learning process for both of us um and you know i'm always welcome to have your guys' input on anything you know that i come i get stumped stumped by uh and such however i i just wanted to say i I don't like the way it's going. I don't like feeling pressured to, oh, I got to get, uh, you know, uh, what day does this release? Tuesday's coming. I, I need to get this video out Tuesday, no matter what. Um, so the Foundry Virtual Tabletop videos, uh, for me to try and get better content and more in-depth knowledge in that content will probably not be released every week. Now, I do have an idea um that might at least get us going every week for a little bit uh and it's kind of the same thing i did with um with uh fantasy grounds unity was we actually took a module and converted it and so i was thinking i went on and i found one that is uh the dungeons dragons adventures league um I think it's the fifth season and it is adventure 16 or something like that it's called um what is it called harnessed i cannot remember now uh but anyway there's a free one so you can actually go on to the dungeon masters guild and look this up and there will be information once i actually start sitting down to do it uh, that I can give you guys so you can actually follow along and stuff but it is a a free adventure it's about 40 pages long it's for levels 1 through 5 um, you know party can be anywhere between 3 to 6 or so um, and I just thought it would be kind of fun to actually see exactly how we would do it now I've never done it before so I'll tell you right up front it this will definitely be a learning experience I have ideas on on what we need to do and how we need to do it but ultimately I'm not hundred percent sure how it will come to fruition or how maybe if if I made my own adventure of course I can't take this one package it and sell it because hey I didn't write the thing but if I had my own homebrew type adventure uh, and I wanted to package it up, package it up kind of like we have with the game worlds and stuff, I'm assuming that's kind of what it is. But uh, we'll look into how you actually might be able to do that. Um, take a, a game world or a module that you've created and give it to someone not necessarily through the module system and the game world system that's here but like you could just zip it up and send it to a friend so they can run it or something so anyway that's kind of my goals for that that will take up i'm sure a couple weeks uh we could even try and run through it like we did with uh the white well uh, which is what we did in fantasy grounds where we actually have some characters and we try and run through it uh, and see how that works out um, so that's just one idea the other thing I wanted to talk about is I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about so if I hit update all I think it'll do it one of these first ones I get is K is not defined I don't know where that's coming from but you'll also see here that I have lots and lots of modules that are 
so to speak, installed. They're not active when we launch, but they are installed. The other thing I wanted to do, I'm just trying to think of the best order to do this in, is I, I got an, uh, a comment from, uh, let me go see if I can see who it was real quick. Uh, why do we pull it up? So a comment on why maybe my my screen is freezing the setup screen and we're gonna go try a fix that was recommended to me by Was it Jim hell? Yes, Jim hell, so um, We're gonna check that out right after we do this other part. I just want to check out this new thing so um, there is a new game world that has been released or a new adventure. So if you want to get it, it sounded like it's almost Halloween themed, but I mean, you could play it anyway. I mean, Dungeons and Dragons is kind of Halloween themed, except, I mean, if, unless it's actually saying, oh, jack-o'-lanterns and this, that, the other. But anyway, if you go to your games worlds, go to install world, you'll see now we actually have two. We have the one that we looked at a long time ago. We didn't go into great depth in this, uh, but we did look at this one. But this one is called The Secret of Poor Veneer. And I'm going to go ahead and install it. And we're going to go check it out just to see what it has. I, I don't think I'm going to do as much that might cause spoilers and stuff. But I want to see really what it comes with. Does it come with its own compendiums? Uh, and all that fun stuff. The package you install has two dependencies which are not yet installed. We have Parallaxia and multi-level tokens. That's really cool. It actually is telling us which add-ons we uh, will want to have on this. So let's go ahead and do that successfully and successfully and compatibility for veneer. Okay. So I believe it is now done. So if we close this, we now have the three. And we have Clash of the Cobalt Cauldron. Is, that's the one we just did, right? No. We did this one. <laughs> I already, yes, this was the one we already had. This is the one. So we're going to go ahead and launch the world. I'm assuming it doesn't actually have a Game Master. Maybe it's in here if there is one. So this is a little bit, and this this really gives you a, I mean, whoever did this, um, I think their info was in here. Audio, music, magic, monster stats, tokens, adventures, and writing. Steel Fleet is probably the person that did all this part. I'm not 100% sure. But you can kind of get an idea of what you can do with your world description and what you can do even in the descriptions of your you know your stories the adventure line themselves you know you can do all this stuff because you can import pictures you can do links and all that so um, the secret of poor veneer is a spooktacular definitely uh, Halloween themed obviously uh, game ready adventure for fifth edition poor veneer missing for weeks it must be the boat feared lost has mysteriously returned anchored at the uninhabited island Felke, and without a crew, and yet all that FV, FV, I don't know what that is, um, maybe that's the company, FV Co's owner, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, I just don't know what it means, <laughs> owner wants from the ship are a dozen small crates in its hold, she invites uh, a group of adventurers to climb aboard the greatest vessel and hack their way through hordes of undead sailors and headless seahorsemen, eels wearing dead men's skeletons as exosuits, and even the ship itself, all in the name of Prophet. Who will heed the call, and what will they ultimately choose to do with poor Veneer's dread cargo? So as you can see, it's, uh, it's uh, designed for three to six. Uh, three to six, six level characters uh, was designed, there we go, by Luke Stratton, who is Limitron, Limithron, uh, and Wythe Marshall, 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 Still Fleet, and brought to life by a community of Patreon creators, including the following. So, I'm assuming 
we don't need a key to join. Whew, thank goodness. Wow, that looks really good. So it looks like they even got, are these macros they've got for us? Uh, what's this say? Oh, actually, no, it didn't do it. Okay, 5e system migration. Okay, good. So even on the map, they have these they have these icons, which I believe are journal entries and stuff. I just wanted to see. So FX on. That is definitely a script. Cool. I wonder, do you do? There's an error in your macro syntax. CF12. Show tendrils. That's not in here. Can we execute that? No. I might have to look into those and how those exactly work. Play She Lives. That's just uh, playing some music. Oh, that one works. Play Lost Dwellers Love. Stop all playlists. So that's kind of cool. You can, and this is actually really good as well because you'll be able to look here and see how you can actually interact with the playlist, which are just over here. So when you click it, um, you can see it's getting the secret of the of the poor veneer. Uh, and then it looks like it's looking for constant sound. It's playing she lives in a uh, she lives loop. That's kind of cool. Alright, so this actually looks like it's pretty well put together. So uh, there is our main picture there, introduction. So we have our links here. I know a multi-level token and movement. That's actually interesting because I'm not sure what that is. Hello, there it goes. This is mentioned multi-token. When you see a hanging sign icon and your token is near it, you can click the hanging sign icon to move your token to a new location. This could be through a door, down some stairs, or to a different area. Some areas, like stairs, will teleport your token automatically. Since a door might be locked or an area might be closed, it is recommended that you ask the DM before clicking the hanging sign. Oh, so this is, uh, it sounds like it's kind of like the uh, portals mod that uh, Diablo Bob made for for whatchamacallit, <laughs> for fantasy grounds. All right, so we don't have any active, that makes sense. So here are, this is our landing page, this is the one we're on. We have the poor veneer, which is probably the map. Oh wow, and they got lots. Are, are these the flags? That, yeah, stairs down. So if we, Climb mass, door, door, door. So I'm assuming these are linked. So if you do stairs down, uh, it will take you probably, no, that's un, wait, unknown. This is the captain, is there more, oh, on this side. So there's the stairs up. Is that all like underwater? And I wonder, wow, this is a big boat. <laughs> uh, if we turn on tendrils with this, it seems like that would be where the tendrils are supposed to be. Did that one say, that says hide. Oh, there they are. Oh, I keep trying to use the wrong buttons here. So they're not animated, but we do see there is some wave action going on here. You can see now that we're close and hide tendrils. Interesting. Very cool. Uh, then we have B10 Naval. This is another map. This is more the boat map. And each of these are considered tokens, I'm assuming. Nice. Okay, random. 
encounters. Oh, so this is for the DM to grab the tokens for random encounters. So if it's dolphins, they can grab those ones. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and then Porvenir random encounters. I see. So I'm assuming that, do you just move it? Like, do you, can you just do it like that? <laughs> I'm not sure how you would move them. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's left click to move the screen. Okay, so that's cool. Um, and we could always go, isn't it, uh, if you double click it, it gives you more info. It's GM only. Let's go look. So here's our actors. They're all sorted nicely. We have the creatures. Wow, a lot of creatures. Oh, there's the ten tendrils. Is that what they call them? Tendrils, yes. I like that. Uh, NPCs. Okay, and then naval combat mini game. Huh? Has a mini game in it. That's cool. Uh, and then this is our items. We have the, some custom items. They're very cool looking. Uh, we have our journals. This is what I was actually looking. I wonder if this tells you about, so the top deck, does any of this say random encounters? That's my question. And we have a, here's our random encounter. Uh, so if we click on this, a D20, 2D6, Coral Folk, with 2D8, Trained Dolphin. That could be a lot of dolphins. Uh, the random encounters, random items, so that's cool. And then here is where our songs were. Although I only see one of them. Oh, here they are. That looks kind of counterintuitive. I think that should point down to say expand and then up to roll it up. It's kind of backwards, at least seems that way to me. So here are our songs. This is the loop one. She lives loops, there's also she lives. There's So they have the non-looping, that's cool. And this is actually where I was interested. So one question is, it does add all the SRD stuff that, that uh, comes with Fantasy Grounds itself with the with the 5e module so that's cool um, does it have custom stuff for this racial features dragonborn has this changed at all I haven't checked this for a little while doesn't look like it rules this is journal entry is that Ability checks. No, it's just all your different. So it looks like it doesn't look like start heroes. It doesn't look like there's anything new in compendium. So I don't know if if you can just bundle up a compendium, or if they just have it all under the actors, which is fine as well. I mean, you got the acolyte here. You can see all his info. So that's, that's good. All right, so here is the question. And now I might, I don't know if I can do it. So, I'm trying to think. So we have, uh, what, what was uh, Jay Hell was saying, Jim Hell was saying is that um, the VTTA tokenizer that it might be the VTTA tokenizer, which is not allowing to save or it freezes up. So if we go turn on the tokenizer, in fact, I'm gonna turn on all the ones I usually have on. I don't know if I have that one on or not. And then I also wanna put on, what were we, we were trying better, better, uh, better rolls, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we've 
that's right that stuff's up now so if we come in here we go to configure settings and we go to module settings so what we were trying to do for example is maybe change to triple threat and then say save and as you can see yeah it's not doing anything so if we go yes you can't even oh there it goes it closed so if we go and say manage modules and let's just disable the tokenizer and say save and close and close so now if we come in here and go to modules triple threat save yeah so yeah I'm not sure what it is about the tokenizer that definitely would be something to uh, report to the dev and say hey something's up with this I'd like to know FX on maybe if we I wanted I wanted to see this we got this thing to work so I wonder if we can get this to work actually I bet you anything it's this um, left click like the the mist here so if we turn FX off no we got the mist and stuff you see any change X on oh I saw something here I don't see it anywhere else in this entire map but I did see something change right here we get a mist and we don't have missed okay all right well anyway guys uh, that does look like it fixes it so if you're having that same issue where it's not saving right um, then uh, if you have the VTT uh, virtual tokenizer disable that do your saving and then if you really need it you can re-enable it I'm trying to remember exactly what virtual tokenizer did I thought I had some pretty cool features, but I can't remember what they are. Maybe in one of the other episodes, we'll we'll look at those. I think the tokenizer isn't that the one that takes like your portrait if you don't have a picture for that and turns it into. It? I can't remember. All right, guys. Well, I think that will do for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you're in agreement with with my uh, new ideas for my schedule I loosely say because um, I'd really like to get content out that is you know well thought out well put together and definitely something you guys want to see unless me bumbling around although like I said that is going to happen because this is new I I got fant uh, I got uh, foundry uh, basically as soon as he opened it up to the public I might have had it like a week before because I joined his patreon just to look and see what it was about Maybe it was a month before I don't know so I really don't have in-depth knowledge I haven't been following and been part of of the patreon and everything the entire time that this thing has been uh, available for that so bear with me on that part you know uh, Feel free to tell me what things you would like me to look into. I do have some friends and stuff that have mentioned things, and I'm, I'm definitely going to look into them for them and for you guys as well. So that's it. I've rambled on way longer than I even wanted to, even after I said we were done. So uh, I don't remember what I've said. So if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, check out my Discord, tell your friends, neighbors, family, enemies, everyone you know about my channel, come check it out, and if they like it, they can sub. And that's it, until next time, I'll be seeing you later, bye!